Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. I know it's been quite a while since I haven't really posted a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a uh, Google Forms. So its logo kind of looks like this. Okay. It looks like this, right? So um today we're gonna be trying to make uh um what do you call it? Uh survey and this is totally free so you don't have to pay for this you can make a survey for free and then you can give it to someone and they can answer it back and you can get all the information like within a second like whatever they answer so let's go get right into this video so the first step we will have to take is that we have to you can either go to the template gallery to like maybe pick up a few ideas there's like event feedback there's like these ones there's also customer feedback there's like lots of this stuff right so try and decide one um this one looks pretty nice if you and if you click on one of these then you can uh, use one of these templates so, like, depending on what you want to do, like, um, a work request or something, then you can pick, uh, click it. Okay. So, but if you want to tr try it new, you can go to start new form and then there's the blank. Right? Now, it says untitled form. Um, okay. Okay, God. They sometimes give you a. F they even give you a tour sometimes when you when you're starting off new. It's called Google Forms, by the way. So um, it's an untitled form, right? So we will erase that and give it a form title. So I survey. Yeah. Okay. And then give it a description. So um this will show you to me a survey. And this is a step by step. I don't know really. I don't know. Um, I think it's V. Sir. V. Yeah, okay. So, um, it says untitled questions. So, give it any uh, question like, what is your name? What? So you have different choices. Maybe you want a paragraph from them. So that it gives you a long time to text, right? But you, not multiple choice since like, you can't really decide names. Not check boxes, not drop down probably. So um, make it a short answer. So like say, oh yeah, I can't really, do that and if you want them to must answer your question then put on required and there's no way they can pass this so like if they don't want to uh, say their name they'll still have to do it because it, you said required if you take away the required that means that they cannot that they don't have to must answer the question so let's say i want to put it on required now you Go to the plus sign to add a new question. Add any question. What are you looking for? So I won't really say multiple choice. I'd say paragraph for this one. And let's put required. Here, 
Um, uh, let me just, I'm going to try and look for something that is, that can add multiple choice to something new. How about, mm, no, okay, add, okay, so maybe you want to put it on drop down. This is drop down. So, This one's a drop down. I want to show you different types, right? And um, this is multiple choice. This is check boxes. Like, um, this is check boxes, okay. Um, linear scale, one to five, like maybe you want to. I give it like how much do you rate us or something so um that's that and say that's all the question you want to add like i didn't add a question for this but um let's just save it quick for this one and say you want to customize it like you don't like this color it's weird you don't like it okay so go to customize theme now this is a theme color this this the background color, perhaps this. And um, there's like, if you pick this one, then you'll get different choices here too. So like, say I want something in this theme, then I can pick it. And say that you don't like any of these colors, okay? And then you can go to add custom color. So it's just like in our Google Slides videos, you might remember. Just like pick your video out. Maybe I want purple because that's my favorite color. Maybe I want this purplish color right over here. Add. And then they'll give you different styles for that one. Now, if you want a different font style, maybe you can do decorative or formal. Or there's even playful. So um, there's, I think, four different uh, fonts. Not anything you can play with much for the fonts. Like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, not like Google Slides that you can pick out your fonts. Like, you only have four fonts, depending on what you're trying to make. Right? Um, there was also something else. Yes, choose image. So here, if you want to kind of uh, show what you want to do, like what you're trying to do here, like what is your survey about, this can give you hints. So say that it's about space, for example. This is what's going to show up above. So that's pretty cool. That, that's something I really like. Um, say that you want illustrations. One of my favorite places to look in. The pretty funky looking stuff here. Um, maybe you want to put in, because it's about to be, it's like October and like all these um, Halloween's coming up really soon. So maybe you're doing it for Halloween. So insert. And here, and maybe um, you want this kind of color, right? This really matches with its theme. They give you a nice theme choice. So um, if you want to see what your responses are, you can come here. Do not do not accepting responses or else no one can respond. Do accepting responses. I'm not really sending it to anyone yet, so I'm not going to send this to anyone so it's pretty fun you can play around with this and say you don't you want to add something else to this maybe make it a bit more funky and fun looking so add image and um yes these are my image and um maybe you want um Halloween. 
How about Halloween illustrations? So, um, this one looks nice, so insert this. And then you get this image. You can even give a title to this image. You want to add a video, it's the same thing. You can add a video. And um, you can pick one out from YouTube. So, um, say you want uh, a cartoon Halloween story. See? So these are different stories you can add in. So maybe I like this one select and whoop, here it comes so fun video for us to watch so it's um pretty good thing you could play on but and this is one thing you have to do go to settings and limit to one response or else um or else like they they can um they can put like they can do five uh, five uh five responses they'd be like they submit a test once they do it again they do it again and again and again and again so you don't want that to happen right so put on limit to one response so let me show you this again how do you do this you go to settings on the really top here settings limit to one response edit after submit maybe sure um not for a test i'm pretty sure don't do that for a test but if it's like a permission slip then maybe you can put it there like for a Halloween one, sure. Add it after submit. Like that's not really important. Quizzes. You can make it a quiz. It has to be um, correct answers. So I'm I like a quiz would be like what is ten plus ten, and like the answer has to be twenty. If they put on forty, they're wrong. That would be a quiz. But I don't want it to be a quiz. So leave that presentation, show progress bar, shuffle question order, if that's what you want. But I won't do that. I like to keep it precise. Like, what do I want here? So, um, yeah, that's it for today. So there are zero responses, well, obviously. When you send this out to someone, send it to anyone, right? They will... You can either copy the link and send it to, um, to your channel, perhaps, or like uh, um, your Google Classroom, something like that. Um, you can do that. But um, if you want to send it to someone specific, then you can go to send to like email it. You can copy the link. And um, you can even, uh, shorten this up. So that was really it for today. What is this? So yeah, you can um you can uh, even add a description to your questions. And um yeah, that's it for today. I hope to see you next time and try this out, play around with it, and then when you actually have to send a survey, this can be pretty handy. So this is called Google Forms, and remember to uh, title that too. And uh, um, you know how we I made this my survey video. You're gonna click on it, and that's what what's um. You can even change this, but it's gonna give you a suggestion. So um, make it different themes. Share with uh, share this video with other people, and yeah. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.